Skull Island, the most dangerous place on Earth, fills the brim with dangerous kaiju of all shapes and sizes. After many, many, many failed attempts to truly explore the island, Monarch knew if they wanted to get a closer look, they'd have to make a monster of their own. Luckily, they had just the thing. The Jaeger Program, a fleet of giant mechas, piloted by two specially trained pilots. Though, Monarch doubts they'll need more than one. So, they picked just one for the mission. Standing at 260 feet tall and 1,980 tons, they choose the Mark III Jaeger, Gypsy Danger, piloted by the two skilled martial artists, Riley Beckett and Mako Mori. Hello everyone, I'm Godzilla Guy, and I've really been on that Pacific Rim grind recently. I mean, two of the three of my most popular shorts are Pacific Rim related, and my Godzilla in the Pacific Rim video is doing quite well. So, we'll be taking another shot at it. In today's video, we'll be asking, could Gypsy Danger survive Skull Island? First thing I want to go ahead and add in, if you do enjoy this video, please consider subscribing, as if you'd like really anything kaiju related, this is the place for you. With that aside, let's cover some rules. Firstly, we'll be assuming that somehow, magically, Gypsy will be repaired and fully functional after each fight. So if he lost an arm in one fight, he would magically have it back in the next. As if he couldn't do that, well, he wouldn't make it too far. Now the part that you all love most. The list of kaiju Gypsy will be taking on are the Mother Longlegs, Siren Jaw, the Juvenile Skull Crawler, the Meyer Squid, One Killer Chameleon, Ramorak, the Spine Prowler, Kraken, and then Camazots. Now I know some of you may be confused about the Spine Prowlers here, but there's a fun reason why. Skull Island is described as a branch off of the Hollow Earth, so I thought it'd be fun to throw in a Hollow Earth Titan just to spice it up. So with all that being said, let's go over Gypsy Danger's stats and see how he would hold up. Gypsy Danger is a third generation Jaeger, tricked out with many useful and powerful weapons, such as the Plasma Cannon, a cannon that is able to blast through practically any kaiju. It's also so hot that it pretty much cooks the kaiju it's fighting. Wrist-mounted chain sword, crafted with an obsidian alloy, and more impressively, is that it has two functions. One, that can be used like a whip blade thing, and then it's a more prominent and powerful version, where it tightens together and becomes a sharp and dangerous blade. Elbow rockets. The rockets found in the elbows of Gypsy Danger are used to add that additional force behind every punch. Armpit, freeze, blast, stuff. God, this would be great to have like a deodorant ad right now. This word Gypsy releases what seems to be liquid nitrogen, which is able to freeze any of its targets that wrap around him. Plasma, jet, cannon, chest, thing. I'm great at doing these videos, yeah. This beam like attack comes out of Gypsy Danger's chest. It was powerful enough to blast right through Slattern, killing him. Back jets. Just as you'd think, Gypsy has jets located on his back, which allows him to make great leaps and further enhance the agility of the Jaeger. And luckily for Gypsy, most of the Skull Island beasts are relatively lightweight in comparison to the rest of the monsterverse, that is, of course. So, he'll be pretty well off. With all that out of the way, let's answer the question. Could Gypsy Danger survive Skull Island? First up, the Mother Longlegs. Yeah, uh, okay. The Mother Longlegs literally would just be stepped on. So, with no difficulty, Gypsy moves on. You know what else takes no difficulty? Saving 10% on your orders using code GETZELIGGUY at checkout at gamersubs.gg. If we get enough sales, we can slap this on a bottle. Anyways, link down below. Next up is the Siren Jaw, one of my personal favorite monsters kaiju. Now, he would definitely be better off than the Mother Longlegs, but he'd also quite literally just get stepped on. I mean, the Siren Jaw's whole way of attacking is waiting for something to step onto him for him to eat. And, well, almost 2,000 tons of weight on top of him. It's not gonna go so well for him. Again, with no difficulty, Gypsy moves on. Now onto the first actual challenge, the Juvenile Skull Crawler. Now, it's difficult to say really how powerful a Juvenile Skull Crawler is as they take heavy gunfire to the face, but also get cut by a katana. So it really matters where Gypsy attacks. Now a tail swipe or jump may be able to dent Gypsy, but that's really about it. Really any of Gypsy's attacks would kill the juvenile in one single hit, whether it's the plasma blast, sword, or freezing him. Or even just a rocket punch to the face might break through his skull. Again, with low difficulty, Gypsy moves on. Next up is the Meyer Squid. Now the Meyer Squid is pretty strong, forcing Kong to use all of his strength to rip through him. Though, it does wrap itself around its target, and as we mentioned, the armpit freeze stuff is used just for that scenario. So he would either just break the Meyer Squid into pieces with a freezing agent, or the fact that it just died from Kong stepping on it, and given Gypsy weighs much more than Kong, again, a single step should do the job. Now onto the Killer Chameleon. But, me and my buddy Mark, but you guys probably know him as FDA, are gonna do a little switch up. As those who don't know, it's Skull Island Weekend. While I do this video, FDA is making one on Gore Source from Godzilla Minus One on Skull Island to see how he would do. So I'm gonna go over there and explain that fight, and FDA, take it away. 
Hey everyone, it's FDA, and I'm going to be covering this specific fight. So the Killer Chameleon is one hell of a beast, as we've seen in the Skull Island anime, being insanely durable and just doesn't know when to die. They are also unimaginably fast, literally blitzing Kong, so Gypsy will definitely have some trouble with this one. Now, while the Chameleons are fast, they're just not too strong, so it can't really do too much to the Jaeger. While Gypsy actually has the necessary weapons to take it out, using his blade to either cut it in half like Raiju, or hit it with a few blasts from the plasma cannon, with low difficulty, Gypsy moves on. Now, going back to my video, thanks Goju Guy for having me on, and continue from here. Whew. Back from the Godzilla Saurus one, that was brutal. Anyways, next is the one from below, Ramorak. Now, while he is tough, he is literally just a larger skull crawler. Now, while he may be able to dent Gypsy more than the juvenile, there's really nothing much. He doesn't really have the bite force to chomp into the head to damage the pilots, so a plasma cannon or the sword should be enough again to do the job. With like mild difficulty, Gypsy moves on. Now into the first real threat, the Spine Prowler. Now Spine Prowler has fought a mecha before and uh, died, but she does have some impressive feats. Firstly, the fact that the Spine Prowler's tail is able to cut deep into Kong's hand. She was also able to knock down the Titan Hunter. Now, while we don't have an official weight, it is most likely around 50,000 tons. So, with relative ease, she should be able to push around Gypsy. Though, she does have two issues. Those being she died from a horn, and the fact that she ran right into said horn, not really taking it into consideration. So, pretty easily, like we said, she'd be able to throw around Gypsy, and maybe even cut into the Jaeger, but there's really nothing much else. I personally still see Gypsy moving through. As the last time a giant kaiju was on him, he just used his chest cannon, turbine blaster thing, and shot right through him. So I think one of the jet blasts and a plasma cannon should be enough to get to the skin, and then using his blade just slice right through her. With mid to high difficulty, Gypsy again moves on. Now onto the Kraken. Now the Kraken is really strong, but also one of the weakest here. It, let me explain. Now the major thing Gypsy have to look out for is the Kraken's massive claws, which may be able to go as far as tearing off one of Gypsy's arms. However, the Kraken was killed by a boat and some punches. Now while Gypsy would take heavy damage at the start, Literally a single plasma blast should be enough to kill the Kraken if it's hit in the head. And I mean, Gypsy has a lot of fighting experience in the water. Fighting Knifehead, Raiju, Skunner, and Slatter. And then some in the comics, I'm care enough. So he's well off in battle experience. So with either low or high difficulty, Gypsy moves on. Now finally, Kamazots. Now this one is a massive 50-50. Let me explain. For those who don't know, Kamazots has a sonic scream. Similar to the middle prime, though weaker. But this roar was still so strong that it was able to deafen Kong. So if a human got hit by it, they might as well be liquefied. Kamazots was also able to lift Kong and slam him into the ground over and over again. So Kamazots could very well do this to Gypsy. Now, why does Gypsy have a chance, you may ask? That will be due to Kamazots' weakness, that being light and, well... Yeah. And the only way this fight could happen would be at night. So their floodlights would already be active. Now what if Kamazots tries to drop Gypsy? Well, Gypsy's already fallen from space thanks to Otachi and Gypsy survived the fall with little damage. So, I mean, it's really up to you, personally. I think Gypsy just barely moves on, but I can understand if you think Kamazos would pull through. So, the Jaeger program pulls through, and Skull Island is now fully documented. What do you guys think? Would Gypsy really make it this far? And what other Jaegers do you think would make it through Skull Island? Let me know in the comments. And if you do like this video and want to see more like it, make sure to check out the channel and consider subscribing. I'm 17 and about to graduate from high school, and my dream is to be able to do YouTube full-time. So, you subbing to the channel helps me get closer to that goal. But, as always, everybody, keep collecting. Godzilla Guy, out. See ya.